Good morning. It is bright and early on Monday morning. I woke up literally about three minutes ago, hence why I look like this. Um, Mum's about to drive in convoy with me to my garage because my car's going in for an MOT in service today. Um, I'm slightly nervous because I've had a couple of issues with it recently. So fingers crossed it's going to pass because I'm just not really in the mood to spend hundreds of pounds on my car today. Woo. We are back and I've made myself a nice, healthy breakfast of avocado and tomatoes on toast. So it's not good news. I just had a call from the garage to say that Mr. Bonoffi failed his MOT on six different things. <laughs> so my MOT is going to cost £45. The To fix all the problems that was wrong with it is going to be 350 and then a service which is 107 so it's going to be just over £500 to fix my car. It failed on the registration plate, an engine light, the front wishbones, the wipers, the CV boot and something else I can't remember. Um, so that is rubbish. <laughs> I've just been weighing up my options and speaking to mum and dad about it and I want to keep it. I have called them to say go ahead and do the work, however I'm now going to just do a bit of research online um, for maybe next year to think about maybe buying a new car or you know paying on finance or whatever that stupid stuff is and however it works. Oh that's just frustrating <sighs> but alas this is what being a car owner comes with. So expensive. Oh my god, today is just getting worse and worse. So I've just done um, some practice tests. Basically tomorrow I have to go up to London to do my professional skills tests for being a teacher. So I have to do a test in literacy and a test in mathematics. I just did the practice tests. Um, English I got 81% so that'll be fine. The maths, I'm good at maths and I got 64%. It was the time limit and it's mental math so you don't get any paper or anything. And the lady reads out the question and then you start working it out and then she starts reading it again and you're like, no, shut up, I need to concentrate. I heard it the first time. So I did not do very well um, in the maths one. So, oh my God, so annoying. Thankfully, you do get unlimited attempts to pass this test. However, my nearest test center is Westfield, Stratford. So, I don't want to be trekking up to London every weekend to do these stupid tests. Ugh. This is the point in the vlog where I had a strop, stormed out of the house, went and got some new number plates made, spent half a bag on my car, had an argument with mum and drove to Elliot's house. The next morning, I got the train to London, took my English and maths test, passed both, thanks for asking, got overwhelmed by Westfield, finished my book in the sun on the South Bank, went to the Tate, started my new book, had lunch in Borough Market and went home with Elliot. The next morning, I drove home, went to Essex, saw my grandma who told me I looked pale, saw my nanny and granddad who lent me some pliers, went to Ikea and bought a lamp for my room, came home, used previously mentioned pliers to change my new piercings from hoops to studs, which I should mention is very naughty because it's three weeks early, had a tie, watched Molly's game and fake tanned. This morning, I dropped Mum and Craig off at Gatwick. And here we are. That was a journey. <laughs> I'm just about to head down to the high street to run some very boring errands and pick up some bits for um, a project. I might also do a little bit of charity shopping. Come along, it's been a lazy morning. It's, um, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's, it's afternoon pretty much. Just hiking back up the hill after having a very unexpectedly successful trip to the high street. Hold that thought. Purchases from the high street include this black velvet style skirt size 14 from M&S back in the day, uh, some dish cloths, a charity shop pearl necklace and two uh, plastic hair bands from the pound shop. And with the help of my trusty glue gun, which is new, uh, we're going to make something amazing, hopefully. I'm ready to start crafting, so I've laid out some newspaper. Basically, what I'm trying to do um, was inspired by Bella, who is Greg James's wife, who at first I didn't want to like because I was really jealous of her because I love Greg James, but now I'm a big fan of hers. So, um, she's made a few of her own hairbands using dishcloths to like pad them out um, and then using her own material. 
So I thought I'd give it a go. I went to buy some black velvet material from like a craft shop, but it was really expensive. And then I had a thought, why don't I go to a charity shop, find a black velvet skirt or piece of clothing that I can just cut up and that'll be way cheaper. So that is why I bought the skirt. The pearls I'm gonna use as decoration with a glue gun. Um, and we're gonna see if we can make a cool hairband. This is the outcome. As I was making it, I was like, oh, this isn't working how I wanted it to. It looks really messy. Blah, 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 blah. And I thought, no, I'll persevere and carry on anyway. And I'm so pleased I did because how adorable. Love it. I'm going to make another one now. Although I don't want to make the same one twice. So I'm thinking of like different ways that I could, could do it. I'm chuffed with that. This was prototype number one, which looks a bit messy on the inside and it's just not perfectly perfect, quite thick. So I moved on to prototype two, which is so much better. It's much neater on the inside. Um, and I did it a little bit thinner and I did a nice straight band of pearls on this one. <gasps> so cute, I love it. And this is this one on, it's adorable. I'm thinking ahead to dinner because I'm always thinking about food and I'm thinking ratatouille. I've never made a ratatouille before, I've only eaten one once but Louise made one the other day and I kind of am jealous. So I was thinking about making a ratatouille and then having it with orzo and it would be good to have some vegetables because my last three meals have been Thai food, Crave cereal, Thai food. I've just gotten back from Sainsbury's and I'm still not used to the fact that when you work at a school, especially a local school to your home, um, it's just inevitable that you're either going to bump into other staff members or parents of your students or the students. Um, so I just saw about three people that I knew. Oh, I've got all the ingredients for ratatouille. I'm going to get cracking. Don't really know how to do it, so I'll just make up as I go along, I think. I don't really know how I'm getting on. This is the orzo. It's nearly ready. This is how... Oh, that's hot. This is how the ratatouille is looking. Whoa! Oh my god. I realised that I don't really know what a ratatouille is supposed to look like. And this, to me, is just a really um, vegetable-filled pasta sauce. Maybe that is what ratatouille is. Maybe. <laughs> and here it is. Harriet's ratatouille. I've just watched a load of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, had a massive cuddle with Sully, who I think is depressed because mum's gone away. Um, he dribbled all over me. I can literally feel all the wet patches where he dribbled on me. Um, and I'm going to get an early night tonight. I don't know what to do with myself tomorrow. My last actual day of half term that's not a weekend day. So I want to make the most of it. So hopefully I can think up a plan. Thank you for watching this vlog and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>